All right, what's up guys? It's Noah with the CP Gamers and this time I'm bringing you a another how-to. This time it's going to be on how to restore old discolored Lego bricks. Uh, I'm currently doing this because I bought the Tantive 4 UCS set. A lot of you guys may know that set. It's very old and when I got it, I got it on eBay. When I got it, a lot of the pieces were very yellowed. It's a largely white set. This is what white bricks are supposed to be like, and that's what I got. And that's okay because I got it for a really good deal on eBay. Didn't come with a box or anything, but it uh, it has all the parts. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I can restore it and make it look as good as new. So without further ado, uh, let's begin. Okay, so I found the uh, dirtiest pieces and I separated them from the others, and now I'm gonna scrub them down. This is uh, step one. Alright, so as you can see, all I was using was basically just water and soap, and it really worked um, getting some of, the, some of the old sticker residue off of those circular pieces and uh, a lot of the just physical dirt and grime off those bigger plates. Alright, for step two of the process, you gotta take some hydrogen peroxide, which I got this at Walmart, it was only like a dollar, so you can get um, as much as you need. Oh, a dollar twenty-nine. So yeah, you can get this wherever you um, have like a local drugstore, and you're gonna want to pour all of it into the container uh, with your yellowed bricks. So I'm gonna set the camera down and do that right now. Alright, so this is the last step of the process. Um, after letting it soak in the hydrogen peroxide, you're going to want to just have it um, rinsed in water and then dried out in a bigger container like this one. Um, I obviously didn't uh, whiten every single one of these pieces. Uh, I did about half, I think. And uh, as it was going, you know, I took out the ones that were done and uh, replaced it with uh, some other yellowed ones. But, um,. The results were really good. The whole process took about two days, and that may seem like a long time, but it's totally worth it because, um, as you can see, the pieces are nearly perfect. Uh, I was actually really happy with these results. I've never done this before, but you can see all of the pieces came out really nicely. Um, this, this might be the piece from before, the really yellowed one. Um, I'm not really sure which one it is, but all of these pieces are really nice now. So yeah, that's basically it. After you let it dry, it's uh, ready to use again. So thanks for watching my video, guys. And if you have any questions about this process, uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. So I'll see you guys again soon with another LEGO video.